like one of the buttons is missing. Call me Crate. See, but I have a weird feel. Agent 9, I'm here for the advanced training. Yep. Yep. So what are we gonna learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? about head explosion, and I was wondering... Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, step up to the Brain Tumbler and we'll begin. Brain Tumbler? So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the Brain Tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away! Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. Going inside the caravan. What do you see inside? I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Uh oh. What? No, I'll figure it out. Aha! Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small, bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Thank you. 
Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else. Was... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh, I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh. Really? Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Crawler would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Crawler? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Crawler. <laughs> Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. <laughs> Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. But why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics, and he knew I was becoming one. So all day long he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. Now why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Great! Focus! Come on now, just look. You're getting warmer. Keep going. Think. Woo! It's getting hot in here. 
Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me, only use your power, pyrokinesis only, when it's very, very important, or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> Before I use this machine, I have to go to the camp store and buy some delicious taffy. A mental cobweb duster. A mental cobweb duster. at the camp store before I can use this machine to make side challenge markers. I still need to buy a side cord. I don't want to... Crack open these smelling salts unless I'm in a mental world. And I really want to get out. They smell pretty bad. Would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Bring me near the geodesic psycho-isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. I saw Nils peeking into a hole in the girl... Hey, Lily. Going for the advanced training? What's the rush? Are you kidding? I only have a few days to become a psychonaut or I lose my shot forever. Look, Raz. I hate to burst your bubble, but the Psychonauts are not what they used to be. Times have changed. The world just doesn't need us anymore. The world does too need Psychonauts. Right here at this very camp, in fact. I think there are several fishy things that need psychic investigating. You are so immature. And cute. When are you gonna just shut up and kiss me? Shut up and do what? Oh, I didn't know you could. Uh, I gotta go. Why so embarrassing? I'm Heidi, and I got nails. When will you peek into the hole in my heart? Because you just see yourself staring back. <laughs> Warning. Geodesic psycho-isolation chamber this way. Stay out.
Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Did you convince Agent Crawler to give you a marksmanship learner's permit yet? Oh, uh, yes. But I left it in my other pants. Be right back. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Let's go to Ford's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble Psycho Master. Agent Crawler? Job, how goes the training? Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouthful of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old dining helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. Uh, prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge and you can side blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Side blast? Oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. Go. Lots of work to do. Good luck, Rasputin. Where would you like me to take you, Agent Crawler? Bring me near the geodesic psycho isolation chamber. Roger that, Ranger Crawler. Nils peeking into a hole in the girl's cabin. Okay, I got it. Check it out. Excellent. Well, my ass is covered. Are you sure you are ready to do this? It could be dangerous. Yes. Are you gonna pull me into your mind like the coach did? <laughs> no offense, but it's time you saw what an organized mind looks like. Welcome to my mind. Huh. It's so empty. Uh, I mean... There's more here than meets the eye, but I've learned to keep it under strict control, and that's what I'm going to teach you. Control your feelings, your fears, your anger. You must learn to control them, focus them, concentrate them, and release them. As therapy? No, as firepower. Say something hideous and horrible jumps out at you. Something so disgusting that it simply must die. Ah, oh, it's so tacky. I can't look directly at it. But I control those feelings. Focus them, concentrate, and release. And the world is a better place. Your turn. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Well done, Raz. Keep shooting. Excellent. A victory for good taste. Now you must strive for precision when targeting. Say you were set upon by multiple attackers. But you need to dispense with them in a certain order. Eliminate these monsters in the proper sequence, and we can move on to the next lesson.
good shooting, Raz, but you are making it harder than it needs to be. You need to practice locking your mental focus. It makes targeting and evasive maneuvers much easier. Let's try again. This time, lock your mental focus. Good. Again. Good. Again. Now then. No. Is this what you saw in your vision? Um, well, it sure seemed a lot bigger in my head. Ah, problems often seem larger in our heads than they really are. That's an important lesson to learn. But... This is a sensor, an integral no. part of any sane person's mind. The sensors roam through your psyche, looking for thoughts that don't belong. Hallucinations, manias, waking dreams. The sensors hunt them down and censor them out. No. Why do they come after me? I'm not a mania. Yes, but you are a foreign entity in my mind. You technically don't belong here. Yes, but I was attacked in my own head. Yes, well, the brain tumbler could be malfunctioning, or you could be insane. We'll test for that later. For now, <laughs> blast it. That's the spirit. I killed it. It was just a thought I was having, and it's not dead. It has just returned to its basic form, raw psychic energy. Go absorb it. It's good for your mental health. As you absorb this energy, your mental health increases. But as you Psy Blast, you expend your will to do damage. So be on the lookout for these small, dense clusters of raw psychic aggression. Absorb these as well to make sure you always have enough firepower. Now I'll leave the machine on for you, so you can practice. You have to blast 1,000 sensors to earn your marksmanship merit badge. Come back every day for practice, and you should have enough in as little as... three weeks. Three weeks? I only have a few days to earn all my merit badges and become a psychonaut. Slow and steady wins the race, my eager young friend. Now practice, slowly and carefully. Oh, man. Come to Papa. Raz, what have you done? This is not control. This is chaos. I'll try to fix it. You stay here and keep the numbers under control. Rasputin, see those valves? That is where the sensors are leaking out. Psy blast the valves to shut them down and get this area under control. Uh -oh. 
Good. Well, you got them all. One leak down and another springs up. Well, come on. We've got to take care of these, too. Oh, 
Sasha's sensor outlets. I can't wait to tell him. Young man, I hope you have learned a lesson here today. Yes, I have. That shooting things is fun and useful. No, that once you lose control of your own mind, it's very hard to get it back. Yes, one's thoughts must be 100% controlled at all times. Well, no. Actually, if you try to completely suppress your undesirable feelings, they'll build and build and eventually explode. Oh. So, uh, what would happen if you were to, say, completely block off all your sensor outlets? Well, there would be a build-up of sensor energy within that would, uh, eventually... Run, Rasputin. Very fast. You are my own creation! I command you to stop! Ah! Rasputin, it's time to earn your merit badge! Horseplay, Rasputin. Destroy him. Ay, 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 ay. Rasputin. Excellent. You've shut down the valve so he cannot be rejuvenated. Now destroy him. Is this where I get a speech and learn another lesson? No. Here's your merit badge. Let us never speak of this again. Enough about my mind. Let's stay out of my mind for a while. Let's just go back into yours, huh? Step up to the brain tumbler when you're ready. <laughs> 